What's up, Ghosts and Ghouls? This is Metal Kitten, and I'm doing my first try on haul. So, I got a package in the mail of Killstar, and I'm really fucking excited about this. This is one of my favorite packages to get in the mail. I literally wait like a little puppy dog at the door for this to come in. So, we're gonna take a look at what I got, try it on, and tell you what my first impressions are. So I am going to be opening this package. I love that they have the decorative package, um, the moon, the stars. The only thing that's like the downside to it is it says what it actually is on the bag. It says Killstar. Don't look at my address. But like for any other goth that's walking by or any person with a brain who recognizes the emblem, they're going to want to take this package. So I don't like that. But I'm going to open the package now. Killstar takes a lot of pride with their packaging. Um, it's one of my favorite things about them. Usually there's always an envelope inside that says like, thank you for your purchase or there's that thingy. Watch, this is the one time that it does not come with, what's that? An envelope saying thank you. This is the one time that they didn't have an envelope saying thank you. <laughs> All right, so I got this really cute um, sweater striped um, like zipper up. This is gonna go under one of the dresses that I ordered, um, which is right here. I'm really excited to take these out and try these on. I also got, I think this is tights. I don't remember what this is. Oh, these are panties, they're velvet. Um, they come in this nice little box. Um, again, Killstar always has really awesome packaging. They take a lot of pride in everything. I got a cute see-through like velvety top and I got four pairs of panties. So we're gonna try these on. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with opening up all the packaging of my underwear that I got. Um, this style in particular is Center Velvet Panty. Um, this one comes in a different box than the other ones. The other ones come in bags, so I don't know if it's just because it's velvet or this one's just special, I don't know. So, ooh, this is nice. I like. So here's the first pair. I got a size XL because I'm thick and it comes with straps, which I'm excited about. Hopefully this stretches out enough to like fit me. We'll find out. So I'm gonna go try these on and give you guys a little look-see of what they look like. All right guys, so this is the Sinner Velvet um, panty that I got. Um, is it true to size? No, I mean, I got an XL. I'm usually like a large medium in most things. Um, the back does have like this cute little pentagram thing. Do I like it? Yes. Um, one out of 10, I'd give it maybe like a six just because of the fit and the comfort of it. Um, so now I'm gonna jump into the next pair. So this next pair that I'm opening, um, the style name is Magica Panty. Um, it's more sheer. This one comes in plastic, not like the other one's special box. It has straps. It's similar to this pair as far as the straps goes. There's no pentagram. I feel like this is gonna fit more true to size than the velvet ones. I don't know if it's because it's sheer, but we're gonna go try them on and see. Okay guys, so I just got into these. Um, these are a lot better than the other ones. Um, I think the sizing is a lot more true to size. Um, they fit more comfortably. I like the straps. I like the way that the straps fit. Um, they fit perfectly on my hourglass shape. So I would recommend getting them maybe eight out of 10. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the third pair that I got. This is Obsidian Velvet is the style name. Um, I like it because it's a little more lacy. That's more my style. I don't think there's an, oh, there is some velvet right here on it. Um, so we'll see how this fits. It's a cross between stretch and not stretch. Okay guys, so this is the third pair. Um, it's really comfortable, I like it. It fits, I would say, to my shape pretty perfectly. So an XL would work if you're like a medium large. 
I would say like 8 out of 10 if you like the style, buy it. So this is the fourth pair that um, I purchased. It's called Slay Day is the style. Um, it's also an XL. I don't think I'm gonna like it just based off of the way it looks. Um, I'm looking at the texture. I'm a big texture person. Um, it looks like a wannabe latex and it's, it's kind of like that cheap Halloween costume feeling if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm gonna try them on anyways and see if I like it or not. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is a fucking laugh riot. I don't know what's going on here. Like, what? What is that? Killstar, what are you doing? Um, it does have adjustable straps. I already knew before I even put this on, I was gonna fucking hate it. Um, that's the thing with shopping online. It's hard to tell whether or not it's gonna fit or what the texture is gonna be, even if they describe it. But this is one of those products that I just got in and I was like, fuck no, we're returning it. But again, let's just have a laugh at this because I don't know what. All right, so the next um, ones we're gonna try on and test out are two tops. The first one is a Vanquished Ruffle Pop. Uh, I'm gonna open this bitch up and see how she feels. Uh, I feel like the texture is not gonna be something that I personally am gonna wanna wear for more than eight hours a day. Um, I usually get a double X, but this time we're feeling a little ballsy and we got an XL, so we'll see if this fits. It's kind of a crop top, it's cute. It's got some like lacy things up so I can do the boobies a little peekaboos, but that usually doesn't work with me. So let's go try it on. All right, so this is that top I was talking about, the cheer. Um, it's not big titty god friendly. They have like these cute little squares that like, if you had small titties, like it potentially be cute, but I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm like an old grandma really not that cute it's really tight on the arms here like I know I have like thick arms but it, they should have like some sort of an elastic stretch give for people of different sizes but yeah I'm not really feeling this top so we're probably gonna return it so the second top that um, we're gonna be trying on is Phoebe rib top it is a red and black striped shirt I think it has like sleeves I'm not sure I don't really remember let's check it out here we are. Um, it's crop top. I like that it has like these little shoulder reveals so you can show off your tattoos. That's pretty cute. And I like that it's a crop top because you can wear it with skirts. I don't think these sleeves are gonna be stretchy, kind of like, oh, maybe they will be. Um, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go try it on and give you my review. Okay, so I'm really excited about the shirt. Um, when I saw it online, I knew I was gonna love it specifically because I like the little cutaways in the sleeves. I know my concern was that my arms weren't gonna fit in it. It's actually stretchy enough and I like that it goes down past my palms because in the winter time I like to hide them. And I also like that it has this little zipper thing right here that's nice. So overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is so far my favorite out of the whole haul. Next, we're gonna try on this dress. All right, so I bought this next item, the Suspend Me skirt to wear with this actual sweater. Um, it is kind of like, it's like a skirt with suspenders. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And I thought this would look really cute together. So far, I like the material. I feel like this is gonna fit really nicely under my underbust and lift the girls up nice. So we're gonna go try it on. All right, so I knew I was gonna really like this outfit together. Um, the skirt fits perfectly. I did get an XL. I usually get a 2XL, so that's good news that I've gotten smaller in Killstar, which in Killstar world, um, it means you're closer to being a bone rack, which doesn't actually matter. You shouldn't wanna be that, but that's their standard. But I'm happy with this fit. It makes me really excited that this outfit works together. All right, guys, so overall, I give this um, haul like maybe be like a seven out of 10 because these two products right here were absolute fucking trash. Like, I don't know what you're doing, Killstar. I don't know who designed this, but you might want to rethink people's body shapes because that little flap in the back of these were, I don't even know what this was. Like, just a disgrace to my life. And then this, no. But I love this outfit, so you did good somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like what we do. Um, subscribe to Viking Creative Studios and make sure you subscribe to Metal Kitten. I'll see you soon.